If you're all about that boat life, you know that there are some truly huge ships out there, but none are bigger than cruise ships. They're basically hotels on the open ocean. With some notable twists. From a ship larger than so-called mega ships to a ship named after one of Earth's most famous celebrations, let's take a look at the 15 biggest cruise ships in the world. <sighs> Number 15. Symphony of the Sea How big does a ship have to be in order to be considered a megaship? Pretty big, right? Take a look at the Symphony of the Sea and you'll be looking at a ship that's even bigger than these so-called megaships. Now that is an accomplishment. The Symphony of the Sea weighs around 228,000 tons and measures 1,184 feet in length. Now that may sound like a big old ship, but it's actually not all that much bigger than its sister ships. It is, however, a lot bigger than the mega ships that can be found in other parts of the world, and this ship makes the most of its size, boasting 18 decks, almost 2,800 staterooms, and a capacity of 6,680 passengers at maximum occupancy. And it only cost $1.35 billion to build, so affordable well, it's surprising nobody else ever tried to do it. The Symphony of the Sea is unquestionably one of the largest cruise ships in the world, and it's a pretty impressive creation in its own right, and all those tiny little so-called megaships are probably looking up at it and thinking, why? Just why? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Mardi Gras Now who doesn't want to go sailing on the high seas on a boat named after one of the world's favorite celebrations? Mardi Gras is an excellence class cruise ship, which sounds like the highest of high praise for a boat. At 181,808 gras tons, the Mardi Gras is the lead vessel and the largest ship in Carnival Cruise Line's fleet. It's also the most recent, having been launched in 2021, but just because it's the most recent doesn't mean it's not prepared for a lot of people. The ship measures 1,105 feet in length and is capable of holding up to 5,200 passengers on board. And did we forget to mention that the Mardi Gras has the very first shipboard roller coaster? It's absolutely true. Bolt, as it's known, features an 800 foot track and can propel cars up to 40 miles per hour. So if you get seasick easily, I, you know, I'd avoid it. The Mardi Gras lives up to its name, promising a great time as a party vessel of excellence. Because nothing says a wonderful, relaxing cruise, like taking a ride on an intense roller coaster in the middle of the open ocean, right? Number 13. Iona there's probably no more famous cruise company in the UK than P&O, and it seems they know that since they just built the largest ship to ever operate for them, the Iona, an excellence class cruise ship set to launch in 2021. MS Iona has a gross tonnage of around 184,000 tons, measuring 1,105 feet in length and holding up to 5,200 passengers. As the largest ship to ever operate, for p and the Iona has the honor of becoming the company's flagship. The Iona has 17 places to eat, 16 whirlpools, 4 swimming pools, one of which is housed in a glass dome, a 3-deck atrium, and an entertainment venue. All of that contained over 18 individual decks. Now that is quality craftsmanship. I'm assuming anyway, I haven't actually seen the boat in person, so this is very much based on guesswork. 
But if you have 16 whirlpools and you haven't sunk yet, you're probably doing okay, you know? They don't call them Excellence-class cruise ships for nothing. The Iona, like its fellow Excellence ships, is a pretty impressive creation and a true feat of construction. At this point, I'm surprised any of these cruise ships are actually able to stay afloat without sinking. 16 whirlpools. Number 12. Costa Smeralda and now we take a trip to another excellence class cruise ship, the Costa Smeralda. This ship, operated by Costa Cruises, is the largest ship ever to be commissioned for and operated for Costa. But it has a much bigger honor. This is the fifth largest cruise ship in the world. Weighing around 182,700 gross tons and standing at a length of 1,105 feet. Feels like I'm saying that a lot. The Costa Smeralda is not a small boat. It's also the second cruise ship in the world to be fully powered by liquefied natural gas. But all of that aside, you want to know about what you can do. The ship can hold up to 5,224 passengers who have no shortage of activities. With 20 decks, a silent party, a virtual band that plays three concerts a week, and all manner of delicious restaurants, passengers can explore and discover whole new worlds whenever they want. The Costa Smeralda is basically a world of its own. Of course, being that it's a world of its own, it's probably not cheap to board the ship. But hey, if you're planning on boarding an Excellence Class cruise ship, you better have an Excellence Class wallet. Number 11. Ada Nova the Ada Nova is not only one of the biggest cruise ships in the world, it's also something of a game changer for the whole industry. You see, this ship is not your average everyday cruise ship, it's the first cruise ship in the world to operate entirely on liquefied natural gas. And that is apparently something important. The Ada Nova is, of course, a pretty giant boat, weighing around 183,900 gross tons and measuring, you guessed it, 1,105 feet in length. This this is an impressively big ship, and it can hold 6,654 passengers at full capacity. The ship boasts 17 restaurants, 18 bars and clubs, 6 pools, and 10,763 square feet of shopping facilities. So sure, you may have a wallet when you get on board, but it'll lose some weight by the time you disembark. Welcome to the world of cruise ships, my friend. The Ada Nova was launched in 2018, and her unconventional appearance is still turning heads to this day. Turns out that there's something about a lipsticked boat that makes people feel more compelled to climb aboard. And honestly, I'm not entirely sure what I want to make of that. Uh, probably best to not think about it too much. Number 10. Harmony of the Seas We've already covered the Symphony of the Sea. Why not pay a visit to her older sister, the Harmony of the Sea? And sure, they may be siblings, but Harmony is no less impressive than her younger sister. Well, maybe a little bit, but, eh, you know, be reasonable. Built in 2016, Harmony of the Seas is an Oasis-class cruise ship built for Royal Caribbean International. She has a gross tonnage of 226,963 gross tons and measures 1,187 feet in length. making her the second largest passenger ship in the world. Now, you have to give her some credit on that one, surely. Unfortunately, her little sister, Symphony of the Seas, has since surpassed her in terms of size. But Harmony still holds the record for the longest cruise ship in the world, so I guess it all kind of balances itself out when you think about it. If you're not particularly interested in this strange sibling rivalry between two boats that I'm pushing, you can just appreciate that this one has a water slides, 20 dining venues, 23 swimming pools, a 1,400 seat theater, and 11,252 works of art on board. So I guess she's the uh, fun and cultured sister. Number 9. MSC Grandiosa 
You can't call a ship grandiosa and then deliver a tiny little paddle boat, you know? If it's called grandiosa, we're expecting something truly huge and, well, I have to admit that the construction team really delivered on the promise. No little paddle boat here. The MSC Grandiosa is a Meravigilia Plus Class cruise ship operated by MSC Cruises. First built in Saint-Nazaire, France in 2019, she weighs around 177,100 gross tons and measures 1,085 feet long. At the time of delivery, she was the sixth largest cruise ship in the world by gross tonnage. And get this, she has a godmother, a human godmother. Well, actually, I'm not sure the word human adequately describes the screen goddess that is actress Sophia Loren. Yeah, Sophia Loren, the Italian movie star, the godmother to this cruise ship. I don't fully understand it either, but I'm sure Miss Loren got paid very well for it. The MSC Grandiosa can hold up to 6,334 people at maximum capacity, housing 2,421 passenger cabins in total. And what's on board? A water park, a theater, a yacht club, a spa, a bowling alley, multiple bars and restaurants, and a karaoke bar. There's actually a whole lot more, but, uh, well, I spent so much time trying to work out the Sophia Loren godmother thing that we don't really have time for anymore. Number 8. Freedom of the Seas We've already dealt with Harmony and Symphony, now we come to Freedom of the Seas. As you've probably already figured, this family is filled with big ships, and Freedom of the Seas is no different. In fact, she's so notable that she gave her name to an entire class of other cruise ships. Freedom of the Seas is the namesake of Royal Caribbean's Freedom Class, and she is not exactly a small boat. Her gross tonnage is estimated to be around 156,000, with the ship measuring 1,111 feet in length. In 2006, when the ship was first built, the Freedom of the Seas was the largest passenger ship ever built by gross tonnage. That record was beaten a year later when Freedom's younger sister Liberty arrived on the scene. There's some more family drama we'll delve into at some point. Freedom can hold up to 4,515 passengers at maximum capacity, and its onboard facilities are impressive. A 445 foot long promenade, three swimming areas, a rock climbing wall, mini golf, a basketball court, an ice skating rink, and a three-deck-high Broadway-style theater, to name just a handful. So I guess this is less of a cruise ship and more of a, uh, you know, small city. Number 7. Spectrum of the Seas well, while we're here, we may as well just work our way through another member of the C family. Spectrum is a relatively new member of the family, built in 2019, the first ship of the Quantum Ultra class. Spectrum has a weight of around 169,379 gross tons, making her the fifth largest ship in the fleet by gross tonnage upon delivery. She can hold up to 4,905 passengers at max maximum capacity, and obviously her onboard facilities are very, very impressive. In fact, they're not just impressive, they're technologically cutting edge. Of course, you have the usual, the onboard shows and the pools, but you also have fencing, archery, virtual reality games, cupcake making classes, game shows, lectures, bumper cars, a skydiving simulator, laser tag, table tennis, dance classes, a science lab. <sighs> Towel folding classes, sushi making classes, a casino jewelry making opportunities, movie nights in arcade whirlpools, and language learning classes. Jeez. Oh, also there's the Bionic Bar where guests can enjoy brand new drinks made by two robotic bartenders. I was not kidding when I said that this was a technologically cutting edge ship. Now was I? No, I definitely was not. I think I need to lie down after that list. Number 6. Norwegian Encore 
No, this multicolored ship does not have an identity crisis. This is the Norwegian Encore, a breakaway plus class cruise ship operated by Norwegian Cruise Line. She's also the fourth breakaway plus class ship in the fleet after her sisters Norwegian Bliss, Norwegian Escape, and Norway Joy. Always a bridesmaid, eh? The Norwegian Encore was launched in August 2019 and christened three months later by uh, who else? Yeah, American Idol winner Kelly Clarkson. Who else would christen a Norwegian cruise ship? The ship weighs around 169,116 gross tons and measures 1,094 feet long. At double occupancy, the ship could hold up to 4,400 passengers, over 20 decks, and 2,043 staterooms. And as for onboard activities, how about go-karting augmented reality laser tag? A Broadway show on board the ship. I don't even know where to begin when it comes to places to eat. There's just so much. So if you're a big eater or you just always wanted to race around the track like Mario Kart on the open ocean, this is the cruise ship for you. It may cost you a small fortune to get a place on board, but hey, it'll be worth it at least. Number 5. Allure of the Seas I'm sorry, we're not anywhere near done with this family. Every time you think it's finished, there's another three lining up to prove just how big the Of The Seas family truly is. They're like the Kardashians of boats. Allure Of The Seas is an Oasis-class cruise ship operated by Royal Caribbean International. In 2018, these Oasis-class ships were the largest passenger ships ever to be in service, and sure enough, the Allure is just two inches larger than her sister Oasis, although they were built to be the exact same specifications. In fact, in 2018, both she and her sister were named after a public contest. Allure and Oasis won that contest, but you probably already, you know, worked that one out. Allure weighs around 225,282 gross tons, measures 1,187 feet in length, and can hold up to 6,760 passengers at maximum occupancy. And like all cruise ships, she has a number of onboard luxury facilities. They include a two-deck dance hall, an ice skating rink, a 1,380-seat theater, seven distinct neighborhoods, and 25 dining options, including a Starbucks. Not too shabby, eh? I guess the Of The Seas family have been preparing for this moment for decades. Number 4. Liberty Of The Seas Yep, another one. I told you the Of The Seas family is doing their damnedest to show that they're a force to be reckoned with. This ship is a Royal Caribbean International Freedom Class cruise ship. But at this point, you know, aren't they all? Initially named Endeavor of the Seas before a quick reconsideration, the Liberty first entered regular service in May 2007. At that time, she joined her sister Freedom as the largest cruise ship ever to be built, weighing 154,407 gross tons and measuring 1,111.9 feet long. Nobody in the right mind can see that this is not a huge ship. The 15-deck vessel can accommodate 3,634 passengers, and there's a ton of stuff to do. From an onboard water park, to an ice skating rink, to a New York-style pizza place, it actually sounds like all of your best first dates in one place. In case it's not obvious at this point, the Of The Seas family has pretty much cornered the market in terms of biggest cruise ships in the world. If you're not in this family, there's really no point in trying to get onto the list. Number 3. Independence of the Seas But why stop at six ships from the Of the Seas family when we have even more? Independence of the Seas is... 
you guessed it, a Freedom class cruise ship operated by Royal Caribbean International. And guess what? Like its sisters, it's one of the biggest ships in the world. Who would have expected that? The Independence of the Seas is a 15-deck ship weighing 155,889 gross tons and measuring 1,112 feet in length. When it was first built and revealed to the world, the boat was deemed one of the largest cruise ships ever built, right alongside her sisters, Freedom and Liberty. And as we know, she has a lot of sisters. The Independence was actually the third of the seas ship built, but she more than holds her own against her sisters, which again, are apparently endless. Independence's onboard facilities include a bungee trampoline experience, a laser tag clash, a water park, and an onboard sushi restaurant, to name three. But at this point, there are so many of the seas ships that, uh, well, by the time I finish, there will probably be another one. Number two, Oasis of the Seas. And here she is now. Actually, Oasis of the Seas is probably the most well-known in the entire fleet. She's the first in her class, now populated with other ships named the largest passenger ships in the world. But again, she was the first. In fact, at the time of construction, the Oasis of the Seas set a new capacity record of carrying over 6,000 passengers, 6,699 to be specific, as well as becoming the largest ship in the world at that time. Oasis weighs 228,081 gross tons and measures 1,184 feet in length. A year later, she was joined by her sister Allure, and over the next decade, the family would grow to a cheaper by the dozen type level, as we have already extensively covered. I'm not sure I have the energy to go into all that again. Onboard facilities include a zip line, an ice skating rink, a surf simulator, move bar, casino, mini golf, five pools, a karaoke club, a comedy club, volleyball and basketball courts, an aquatic amphitheater, and a whole lot more stuff. But for now, we're going to wave goodbye to the Of The Seas family, I hope, and visit a new ship. Please, Lord, let this be a new ship. Number one, World Dream. World Dream is a cruise ship operated by Dream Cruises, designed specifically for the Asian cruise market. And she is indeed a beast of a cruise ship. Also, she's not part of the Of The Seas family, which I think we're all somewhat relieved about. The World Dream launched in 2017 and is an impressive looking ship. It weighs around 150,695 gross tons, measures 1,099 feet and 9 inches in length, and can carry up to 3,376 passengers. With the facts out of the way, I can say what we're all thinking. Look at the size of the thing. It's like a building on the sea. If you're interested, there's also a 27-foot Lego model of the ship, the largest model of a cruise ship on permanent display in the Kai Tak Cruise Terminal in Hong Kong. So there's a gift for you, eh? The World Dream is quite literally a dream of a cruise ship. Okay, not literally, but I had to make the pun. It's a huge colorful ship with an unimaginable amount of restaurants on board, not to mention a casino, but I think we can all agree that this is the most important thing. It has a Lego sculpture of it that's usually just reserved for celebrities. Which of these huge cruise ships would you most like to see in person? And why is it an of the sea ship? Let us know in the comments. Also check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.